Hi everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling since July of 2004 and I absolutely love it. It was the perfect job to be able to stay home, take care of my kids and earn a really good income. And now I have this YouTube channel where I get to share what I learn and continue to learn with all of you. And today I would like to share a new service that I tried and really like. It is a company called Prime Lister and they actually reached out to me and asked me if I would do a trial of their service. So I thought, okay, yes, I'll test it out. I believe cross-listing is very beneficial and they also have a sharing tool, which I have found that that is very beneficial also because time is money and I have a limited amount of time to be able to spend on reselling. So I want to maximize the hours that I do put in to reselling. So in today's video, I'm going to give you an overview and share some of my favorite features. And I will go step by step and show you examples of using I'm going to take an item that I have listed on Poshmark. So say you have a lot of listings on Poshmark but you want to cross-list them to other markets to give them an opportunity to sell if your Poshmark sales are down. I'm going to show you how you can take those listings and easily and quickly cross-list them to the other markets and you don't have to retake pictures, you don't have to redo your descriptions. It is so easy and one thing that I have loved is that my, the cross-listing that I have done on there has gone seamlessly. It's really easy to use. It didn't take me a long time to figure out how to use it. And then I'm going to show you how to use the sharing tool. I also have it set up so that it sends out offers to likers. You can also send out bulk offers to likers. So I love the sharing part of it so much. One thing that I love about Prime Lister is you can relist items and they will show up as brand new items. Also, when I manually relist items on Poshmark, it shows copy at the beginning. So I have to go in, fix the title, it usually chops off some words at the end, so I have to add those in. And that's time also. On Prime Lister, you don't have that. It just copies them so easily. Also, it deletes the old listing. When I, when I am copying manually, I have to go and delete the old listing. I'm always afraid, uh oh, what if I delete the new listing? Uh oh, what if it didn't really copy? It is so much easier, so I love those features. One other thing that I really want to work on is building Macari up because I've had some really great sales on Macari, but I haven't put enough time into it because I know once Macari listings are 30 or 60 days old, they are just kind of hidden. And I haven't found a great way to relist on Macari until now. This relist on Macari so easily. So I'm going to start putting a lot more effort into Macari, relist those items and see if I can increase my sales. Right now I'll have like one, maybe two items sell a week on Macari. So I'm going to, over the next month, put a lot of effort into Macari and just relisting old items and crossing them over. So we will see, I will report back to you. And if you watch my what sold videos, you will see through the weeks if that does affect Macari and help my sales go up a lot on Macari and I'm sure it will. I can't imagine that it won't. I find that using these tools definitely affects my business in a positive way because I'm able to get more accomplished in a shorter amount of time, which means making more money. So now we will go through it and I'll show you exactly how I use it. Prime Lister offers a free seven day trial and you don't even have to put a credit card in. It runs off of a Chrome extension, so you do need to download that and then you're ready to get started. I have this beautiful Alfred Angelo dress that I found at the Oklahoma City bins and it is listed on Poshmark. So I wanna take it and cross list it to eBay, Macari, and Facebook Marketplace so that I will have more opportunities for it to be seen and sell faster. So I'm going to take you along step by step and show you how I go through this process. I have tabs open for all of the platforms that I'm working with. I go to the right hand side of my screen. I click on that little triangle. Then I find the item that I want to cross list. I click that little square. I go to the right and I select cross list. Then I choose the platforms that I want to cross list to Mercari, eBay, United States, and Facebook. It asks me if I'm sure that I want to. I say yes. You can see at the top, it is opening new windows and it is loading the information to create the new listings for each of those platforms. 
a pop-up window appears so that you know that it is working on loading all of the information into your drafts so that you don't have to. It opened the eBay listing first. The title line looks perfect. It copied my custom label, which is my SKU information perfectly. It put it in the category under wedding and formal occasion, bridesmaid dresses. That's perfect. I do have a store, so it's under the store category, women and juniors clothing. There is a UPC code on the tag. I'm going to put does not apply for right now. I'll go back and fill that in later so it doesn't take me too long right now. Pre-owned is the condition, and then under the description, I put pre-owned and excellent. The picture's copied perfectly. Then it pre-filled in the brand just right, the color. It put it under plus size, size 20W. The sleeve style, I think that was cap sleeve. Yes, cap sleeve. Then I go down, just double check my description. It looks excellent. And then on the fixed price, my store is going to mark it down automatically 25%. So I think I'll put it at $82.99. And then that'll be right at about the going rate once it discounts it. And I will allow offers, but I'm not going to put in an amount to automatically accept because I'm wanting to get pretty close to my asking price. So I want to review offers when they come in. I do offer free returns. Then I go down to the shipping area. I am going to use calculated shipping. I change it to priority mail, one business day handling time. I'm going to offer international shipping and I have the global shipping program, first class international and eBay international standard delivery, all as options for the buyer. The Dress weighed around one pound, three ounces. And so I'm going to put one pound, 12 ounces. It's going to stay under that two pound mark, but I'm probably going to wrap it with some extra tissue paper and put it in a box so that it, all of the beading is well protected. Then I am going to promote my listing at 3% and I will offer a discount if they buy multiple items. And that is it. I submit the listing and it's ready to sell. Now we're ready to move on to the next one. I go up to the top and I select the Macari listing. I look at the title, it looks great. I go down and look at the description, it looks great also. I'm going to put the tag formal in there, then women's and dresses, then it is maxi length, and then I just start to put in the name and it suggests Alfred Angelo, so that's nice. Then I select the condition, good. It really is excellent condition, but I'm going to pick good because it is not like new. Then the size is 20W, but I don't see that size, so I just put the size that has 20 within it, and I have pictures in the exact size in the listing. Then it is going to be just under two pounds when packaged, so I'm gonna go ahead and put two pounds in, then I look at my options and by far FedEx Smart Post is the lowest at $7.99. And I do believe the buyers look at the total cost of the item. So I'm going to offer that because that's several dollars less. Then I'm going to set my pricing at $72. I am going to have smart pricing on so that it drops it to $65. And then I have to go back up to dress occasion because I was skipped that earlier. I'm going to put in formal and for dress style, I will put in ball gown. And then it looks like I have all of the fields complete and I can select list and I have it now available on three platforms. We have one last marketplace to cross list to. So I clicked on the Facebook tab. I go over to the left hand side and I change the condition to used. Everything else looks like it's pre filled in correctly. It does have plus sizes 20W. So I select that. Dress length would be long. Then the dress style, I will select ball gown. It does not fill in the skew on. Facebook Marketplace, so I go ahead and fill that in myself. And then I will go down and I do hide the listings from my friends because I don't want them to get a notification every time that I list something. Then I click on Next. 
I do not want local pickup. I only want to provide shipping. Then I change the weight to the one to two pounds. And if you notice on here, there is a very small difference between the two services. So I pick USPS because they pick up the packages from my home. Then I will allow offers. I am going to accept offers automatically for $58 which that is lower than I will accept on the other platforms, but the fees are a lot lower on Facebook Marketplace. Then I complete my listing and it is ready to sell on Facebook Marketplace. And it already sold so quickly and for an amazing return on investment. What platform do you think it sold on? It sold on eBay for a gross amount of $74.89. I received back $55.30. I paid $1.40 at the Goodwill Outlet Center or the bins, and my profit was $53.90. Yay! Now I'm going to go over how to use the sharing portion of this tool. I was for the longest time sharing my items myself. I probably spent an hour to an hour and a half each day manually sharing because that has been so important on Poshmark. And then I figured out that I could hire an, a VA and I paid anywhere between $25 and $40 a week to have a VA share my listings because I thought, I could use my time so much more wisely by listing things instead of just hitting share. And I was developing problems with my finger. It was cramping and hurting all the time. And so I thought I'm either not going to sell on Poshmark anymore, or I am going to find another way to share. So I hired an assistant and that went well, but it was very expensive. Then I heard a lot of people were using sharing tools. And so I tried it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that has been the best thing because the cost is so much less, less than a dollar a day. Do something that was taking me an hour, or hour and a half to share. It is so much easier, so I love those features. I also have it set up so that it sends out offers to likers. You can also send out bulk offers to likers. So I love the sharing part of it so much. So now we will go through and I'll show you exactly how I use it. Before you use Primelister to share the first time, you want to set up your automation settings. So you go to Poshmark Assistant at the top, select that tab, then you're going to go down where it says automation and you're going to click that. You just set this up one time, then it remembers it for you for the next time, but you can change it later if you wanna change anything. I choose to have it auto captcha solve and it works so well. I have left it running for hours and hours where it shares on slow and it has solved every captcha successfully. Next, it will send out auto offers to likers. So when somebody likes my item, I tell it, I had it on three minutes, I'm going to change it to two minutes. It will send an offer out to them two minutes after they like an item. I have mine set so that it will send offers for 10% off with $4.99 shipping. Then I have it set so that it will return share. So if someone shares one of my item, I will share 10 of their items back automatically. It also returns follow. So if someone follows me, I follow them back and I follow new closets. So now that my settings are set, I am ready to share. Okay, so I'm going to open Poshmark up fresh as if I was just logging on to Poshmark and show you the sharing process with the automated settings already set in place. I open Poshmark, I go to the right hand side of my screen and you'll see that little panel with the triangle. I click on that to open Prime Lister, then I click on Poshmark Assistant. I select share. I want to share all of my active listings. So I click on my closet instead of current page. Then I'm going to share to my followers. I'm going to go ahead and share at a fast pace. It allows me to put in a total limit of items shared. So I put in 12, 15. It also asks me how many times I want my entire closet shared. So two loops is good with me. Then it asks me if I'm ready to start the sharing process and I say yes, continue, and it begins sharing my items. There's a pop-up screen and I can monitor where it's at in the sharing process. 
You do not want to close or minimize this screen because you want it to keep working, but I open up another tab and I will continue with other tasks that I'm working on while it's sharing my closet. So you still can do things on your computer. Then when it's completed, it gives you a summary. It says the total listings in your closet, so that's my sold items, my unsold items, and my listed items. It tells me that it solved one CAPTCHA and it has never failed solving them and just shut down, which I've had that trouble on other services, so I love that. It tells me that it shared 1,154 items because I have currently 577 active listings. I limited it to two loops, so it stopped there. When I really want to increase sales, I go to Prime Lister and I select Poshmark Assistant, then I click on Send Bulk Offers. I will tell it to send out offers to any likers for 20% off and also discount the shipping to $4.99. I click Send Offers. It asks me if I'm sure I want to. I say Yes, Continue, and it sends out offers on every single item. If I have already sent that offer to a liker previously, it will not send it to them again. But I do this about once a week and it catches those buyers that on the first round I sent out 10% off offers. Now, about a week later, they will get a 20% offer and usually this results in a few sales for me. And it did. I'm so excited. I went and edited that portion of the video. Then I went back and checked. It's been about an hour and it resulted in five sales from sending out those offers to likers. So it really works. Now we're going to relist some items and a really great feature that Prime Lister has is that when you use their service to relist your items, they actually relist your item from scratch. They use a cut and paste method so that your new listing is truly brand new. And sometimes if you use another method, it will just show as updated if it is less than 60 days old. It won't truly change the date and make it a new listing. So that is huge that it creates a new listing because if someone sorts, by just in, then it gives your item more visibility. To relist using Prime Lister, I go through the listing actions menu. Then I select a few items that I would like to have relisted. When I have chosen them, I go back over and I click on relist. Then I look through the options. I would like to have the selected items relisted. I want it to update my price because most likely I have lowered it as low as I want it to go. So I'm going to have it calculate the price on the actual price that it is at right now. I'm going to choose to increase it by a percentage. The percentage that I want it increased is 20% because that's probably how much I have dropped it by. And then I tell it to relist my items. And it asks me if I'm sure. I tell it that I am sure. And then it has an estimated time and there's a window on the side so that you can monitor your progress. And at any time when it is doing work for me, instead of just sitting there, I'll open up another window and I'll work on something, but it's nice to kind of monitor it and see what it is doing as I am getting other tasks accomplished. So after using Prime Lister for a couple weeks, I absolutely love it. And I love that it was so easy to learn to use. I felt like I could just get on there and use it right away. It did not take a long time for me to learn how to use it. I do want to try it. They have a free seven day trial. So I encourage you to try it. I was hooked from the first day. I loved it. And if you do want to use it for a longer period of time, I will have a link down below in the description box. And if you want to use my link, I would appreciate it so much. And it will get you 30% off your first month. Last, I wanted to tell Prime Lister, thank you so much. It has been an absolute pleasure working with you. Prime Lister had reached out to me and just no pressure, asked me to try out their service and see if I liked it. I loved it. So they ended up sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much, Prime Lister. I really appreciate everything. So that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.